elements of the array except the first element comes in the sorted list and all the remaining elements will be initially in the unsorted list compare 5 and 6 hence 5 is lesser than the 6 so we keep the sorted array as it is and we insert the 6 value at the position 1 whenever the array is of smaller length it is a very effective technique of sorting the element Welcome to the one more session on the data structure you need to. In this session, we are going to discuss one more sorting technique called insertion sort. Myself, Induje, Faculty of Computer Science Department, Vidyashram First Aid College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. We, in the last session, we have already discussed two different sorting techniques that is selection sort and then the bubble sort. In this session, we are going to discuss insertion sort. Okay, what is the insertion sort? Inserting the minimum element in between the maximum element that is called as insertion sort as name itself indicates. In the selection sort also we are doing the same thing. We are selecting the minimum element and placing that minimum element into the first index value. In the bubble sort what we are doing? We are comparing bubbling the two elements consecutive elements. We are swapping that. In the insertion sort the same again as name itself in we are inserting the element between the elements. Okay, that is what is insertion sort. Let us start with the definition. The sorting procedure is similar to the way of playing cards. Hope all of you know how to play cards. You will be having 13 cards in your hand. You will be taking one card and inserting in between and arranging them in a proper order. Right? Similarly, we are inserting in between the elements. Okay, after shuffling the cards, we pick each card and insert it into the proper place so that the card in the hand are arranged in the ascending order. In the insertion sort, the given list is divided into two parts. One is sorted part and is unsorted part. Okay, working with the insertion sort algorithm, what happens means if it is my array, if it is an array of six elements we divide the array into sorted and unsorted array this is sorted array this is unsorted array so all the elements of the array except the first element comes in the sorted list and all the remaining elements will be initially in the unsorted list once I find the minimum element, if this is a 20 and this is a 10, if I find the minimum element, I put that element in the first place. Okay, then it will be sorted. Like if I find a 40, then I have to put that in the last, like that. So if I find 30, what I have to do? I have to insert this 30 between 20 and then the 40. So that is called as insertion. First element will be in the sorted array and the remaining all element will be in the unsorted array. As we encounter or as we traverse the element of the array, will insert that array element into the particular position in the sorted order. That is the concept of insertion sort. Then consider the example here what we have. We have n values like 5 values, 12, 11, 13, 5 and 6. These are all the unsorted elements that is given in the array. Consider the example. Initially, the first two element of the array is compared in the insertion sort. What we are doing? We are comparing first two element. As I told you, we have a sorted array as 12 and remaining all the elements will be in the unsorted array. That is 11, 13, 5 and 6. Right, so compare these two as this is a greater what we have to do we have to swap these two element and put it in the sorted array and how many elements are left with 13, 5 and 6. Okay, done. This is now sorted. This is still unsorted. That's why we divide the array into sorted and unsorted logically. Okay, then in the second pass, what we have to do now move the next two elements and compare them. What we are doing now I have this array as a sorted, this is unsorted. Next to two element have to compare. Yes, it is 13 is greater than 12. What we have to do? We have to keep 13 as it is. So now the sorted array will be of three elements and unsorted array will be of two elements. Okay, 
Now, exactly what happens here in the next procedure or next iterations have five. This is my sorted array 11, 12 and 13. Now I have unsorted array as 5 and 6. Right. So this has to be compared with 13. 5 has to be compared with what? 5 has to be compared with 13. Once I am comparing, finding this unsorted element is lesser the value of sorted element. What we have to do? Have to put in between 5 and 13. Fine. That is what we are doing. 11, 12, 5 and 13. What I left with here? I have left with only 6. But still this array is not sorted. What I have to do? I have to compare these two again. So since the element which is at the right side is smaller than the element which is at the left side, we have to swap. We have to swap. Right, now what is the position of 5? 5 will be at the first position of the index value. Then compare these two, swap and swap. Now, in place of 11, what I will be having? I will be having 5, then 11, 12 and 13. What I have in the unsorted array? I have the value 6. So, 5, 11, 12, 13 and 6 element will be still unsorted. Next, in the fourth pass, what we are supposed to do? Now, in the fourth pass, now the element which are present in the sorted subarray are 5, 11, 12 and 13. Now, what we have to do? We have to move this 6 to the sorted array, right? So, moving the next two elements, 13 and 6 to the sorted array. Now, I should compare these two, right? which is a smaller one, right side is a smaller element. So what I have to do? I have to swap, right? After swapping, 13 will be at the last element of the array and 6 will be at the third position of the array, right? So again, compare these two, 12 and 6. Again, what we have to do after comparing? Swap. Swapped, 6 is at the second position now. Compare. 11 and 6. Again, what we have to do? Swap. So now 5, 6, 11, 12 and 13. It is in the sorted order. Compare 5 and 6. Hence, 5 is lesser than the 6. So we keep the sorted array as it is and we insert the 6 value at the position 1. This is what the logic behind the insertion sort technique. So what are the advantage of using the insertion compared to other sorting technique what we have discussed? What is the advantage of having the insertion sort? Simple implementation. Just look at the element in the sorted array. Switch if it is a lesser to the sorted array. That is very simple implementation. Effective for the quite small data set. Whenever the array is of smaller length, it is a very effective technique of sorting the element. More effective than the selection sort or the bubble sort. Compared to the selection sort and the bubble sort, it is more effective because you need not to go to traverse each and every time. You need not to compare each and every time. So, this is more effective in terms of time and space complexity when it compared to the selection sort and then the bubble sort. It is stable that it does not change the relative order of the element with equal keys. It does not change the order of the element if the keys are equal in place that it requires the constant amount of the memory space. That's why it is more efficient than the selection sort and then the bubble sort. It requires the constant memory space. So it is more effective in the terms of space complexity as well as in the terms of type complexity. Next, what are the disadvantages we have in the insertion sort? Disadvantage is it is less efficient on the list containing more number of elements. It can be implemented only when we have a limited number of or limited number of elements in the array. If you are having large array, it is not effectively implementable. As the number of elements increases, the performance of the program would go slow. 
okay then insertion sort needs a large number of elements shift we have to shift from unsorted array to sorted array in the sorted array also we have to compare the two elements and we have to keep on shifting the elements from our uh, index value to the proper index where the element to be right so that is what it need more number of shifting that is one of the disadvantage of insertion sort next let us see the algorithm how to write a program with the help of algorithm in the insertion sort technique that is as every algorithm start with the stat state we are using the stat as a step number 1 in the step number 2 what we are supposed to do example we have discussed what we have to do we have to if the first time then the list is already sorted we assume that the list is sorted then pick the next element what i said just first element should be shifted to the sorted array right this is remaining elements will be in the unsorted array so i assume that the first element is sorted pick next element from the unsorted array compare all the elements of the unsorted array with the sorted array so this element has to be taken compared with sorted array And then shift all the elements in the sorted sublist that is greater than the value to be sorted if it is greater than then it has to be shifted from the sorted array okay insert the value wherever that particular item fits insert that value into the sorted array then repeat until the list is sorted compare that with one more element compare that with one more element compare that with one more element keep on shifting all the elements of the array until unless it is in the proper index fine then last step is to stop this is how we are going to use the insertion technique in sorting the array thank you